This podcast is a summary of a conversation between Brent Bashor of Permanent Equity and Anthony Pompliano of the Pomp Podcast. In this conversation, they discuss finding businesses to invest in, developing partner relationships, managing incentives, reinvestments, risk, and a win win mentality. Here are eight key takeaways from Brent Bashor and Anthony Pompliano. Key takeaway number one Permanent Equity finds success in investing in adolescent businesses in Main Street America. Brent is an expert in finding the best places to put money to work, especially in what we call boring or traditional businesses. Permanent equity doesn't focus on just one type of business. They have a diverse portfolio that includes manufacturing, construction, business services, military recruitment, and even matchmaking. So what do these businesses have in common? They're all what Brandt calls adolescent businesses. These companies are right in the middle, not too big, but not too small. They're the backbone of Main Street America, building pools and fences, and providing essential services. Permanent equity likes to work with businesses that are thinking long-term. They usually invest in companies with over $3 million in earnings and a lot of revenue. They want to be good long-term partners and stewards of these companies, often buying them without any debt and no plans to sell. Permanent equity finds success by investing in a wide range of solid, traditional businesses that are the heart of Main Street America. They focus on long-term partnerships, helping these companies grow and thrive. Key takeaway number two, small businesses aren't good at every aspect of business. Focus on where you can help the most. Brent discusses permanent equities involvement in a pool business and a matchmaking business. He focuses on the key aspects that make these businesses successful and how they help them grow and modernize. The pool business is based in Phoenix, Arizona, and Tucson, where having a pool is almost a necessity due to the hot climate. This high demand for pools in the region indicates potential for future growth, as more people seek ways to cool down and enjoy their outdoor spaces. Permanent equity supports the business by improving online lead generation, reorganizing the management team, and providing specialized talent for various roles. Brent also explains that businesses have a layer he calls the everything tastes like chicken layer, which includes all the most common aspects of business, such as marketing, advertising, sales, and technology. No small business is good at all of these aspects, and that's where permanent equity comes in to help them improve in these areas, making the business more efficient and successful. Similarly, the matchmaking business benefits from permanent equity's expertise in the everything tastes like chicken layer. Brent highlights the importance of focusing on people rather than just numbers. He asks sellers about their long-term goals and works together to achieve those goals. In both cases, Permanent equity emphasizes the importance of strong relationships and working together to create successful long-term businesses. Key takeaway number three, take a high humility approach to business acquisitions, focusing on learning and trust building rather than pre-made solutions. Often, when individuals or companies are in the process of buying a new business, they will either have a pre-made, one-size-fits-all solution or pretend like they know more about the business than the owner who might have been doing that for decades offering obvious solutions like expanding into neighboring markets. Permanent equity takes a different approach. They prefer to use high humility, offering support, but not imposing ideas. They don't have a 90-day playbook or specific goals for the company when they join. Instead, they ask the leadership team what they should learn. Due diligence, the process of examining a business before making an investment or acquisition, can only provide limited insights. No matter how much time is spent on due diligence, it's impossible to uncover every detail about the business. Even if someone spends five years on due diligence, they would still learn new things once they become the owner. This is because the perspective and responsibilities of an owner are different from those of an investor or potential buyer. It's only after taking the ownership seat that one can truly understand the intricacies of the business and its operations. This is why permanent equity avoids making significant changes to a business immediately after partnering with them, as they believe it's important to first learn from the existing leadership and build trust. They prefer to operate in areas with low frequency but high impact, such as rebranding, online generation programs, or hiring key staff members. The company also has a full-time executive recruiter on staff, which is beneficial across their 13 portfolio companies. Key takeaway number four. Permanent Equity's unique incentive structure prioritizes long-term cash generation and portfolio company success. When it comes to incentives in organizations, it's important to align incentives with long-term cash generation, 
the best interests of investors, and the success of portfolio companies. Permanent equity has a unique incentive structure. Instead of taking fees or reimbursements from portfolio companies or investors, permanent equity takes a percentage of free cash flow above a hurdle when the business starts generating cash. This approach aligns their interests with the long-term success of the portfolio companies and encourages the reinvestment of capital when it makes sense. When it comes to employee incentives, Brent advises employers to consider the actions they want their employees to take and the actions they wish to discourage. Aligning incentives with company goals is critical, and Brent provides the example of compensating sales teams based on gross profit rather than revenue. By doing so, sales teams are more focused on the profitability of the business, which can lead to increased sales and better outcomes for both employees and customers. It's important to talk about profit, cash generation, and reinvestment, rather than just growth rate, for a more sustainable and successful business model. Key takeaway number five. A debt-averse long-term investment strategy allows for aggressive reinvention and growth, even in times of crisis. Permanent equity's long-term investment strategy, which typically avoids debt, allows them more freedom to use their free cash flow. He shares an example from their aerospace business, which faced an unexpected downturn due to COVID-19. Instead of laying off staff and conserving resources like competitors, they chose to aggressively reinvest and modernize the business, resulting in tremendous growth. Brent also emphasizes the importance of a flexible balance sheet and avoiding excessive debt, as it provides more options for reinvesting in the business. He concludes by explaining their approach to portfolio companies. If a company has a high probability, high return opportunity, they encourage the company to retain cash and invest in that opportunity. If not, they prefer the company to send the cash back to the investors. Key takeaway number six, permanent equities long-term game theory approach to buying businesses ensures everybody wins. When buying businesses, PE focuses on an everybody winning long-term game theory. They bring up the example of an Arkansas billionaire who turned a small wood treatment facility into the country's number one provider, Yellowwood. The billionaire's success not only made him wealthy, but also revitalized his small town and employed thousands of people. Brent explains that businesses should focus on the long-term success of all stakeholders rather than short-term gains. This means taking care of their communities and employees, as well as maintaining the unique aspects of each business. Permanent equity, for instance, is change-averse and keeps businesses in their original locations to preserve the advantages of being deeply embedded in their communities. Ultimately, Brent emphasizes that in order to win long-term, everyone has to win. This requires playing an infinite game and ensuring that all key stakeholders benefit from the business's success. Key takeaway number seven. To avoid being a bottleneck leader, adopt a manufacturing style approach. Brent shares that he faced challenges scaling himself and his time as his company grew. To overcome this, they moved away from the traditional private equity model, which relies on hiring more partners to manage growth. Instead, Brent and his team adopted a manufacturing style approach, in which each team member specializes in a specific skill set or area of expertise. As the business moves through various stages, the lead person changes depending on the requirements at that particular stage. This method allows Brent to focus on his strengths while relying on a team of specialists to support the entire acquisition process. Once the business is acquired, they maintain a similar approach with two points of contact, an operating partner and a financial partner. These partners create feedback loops and resource the company with the necessary expertise when required. This unique approach helps Brent's organization run more efficiently, allowing them to grow without being bottlenecked by a single leader. Key takeaway number eight, the importance of margin of safety, durability, and debt avoidance in small business investing. Brent emphasizes the importance of a margin of safety, avoiding debt, and focusing on durability in small businesses. He also highlights the difference between playing the power law game in tech investments and buying cash flowing businesses, where the goal is to minimize losses. While some business models can handle debt, it's generally not suitable for most small businesses due to their unpredictability. He critiques the traditional private equity model, which often prioritizes investor profits at the expense of employees, communities, and other stakeholders. Instead, permanent equity aims for a more collaborative and long-term approach, where everyone involved can win. Brent concludes by discussing the potential advantages of embracing the volatility in small businesses, if you can endure it. He emphasizes that the money is made on the purchase, 
with both pricing and structure playing critical roles in investment success. Thank you for listening to this podcast summary of the conversation between Brent Bishore and Anthony Pompliano. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. See you next time.